Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Tessa McCracken, welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing extremely well, and my audience is also. And I wanted them to know that June is National Camping Month. And so I'm going to talk with, well, we're going to talk about how to plan a vacation that doesn't require a lot of planning. You can do it, because I've got expert Tessa McCracken here to give us some information. Tessa, let's get started. What is glamping, and how is it different from the traditional camping? Well, glamping provides all the charms and experiences of traditional camping, but makes it a little bit easier and more accessible to the average person. For glamping, you don't need any special equipment or technical skills. You often just need to show up. And glamping will come in many different shapes and forms, but typically you can expect to be staying in a cabin, tree house, or some other kind of lodging that has a private bathroom. For example, at Camp Info, we have multiple cabins with multiple bedrooms and even your private bathroom, and they're professionally designed. Okay, so camping for the people maybe who really can't rough it all that well, so you guys created glamping for them? Yeah, well, I mean, I think even experienced campers from time to time will ex- will enjoy the break from setting up camp um, and the convenience that glamping can provide. Yeah, I said it. Uh, you can't, you haven't lived till you sit up one of those tents, you know, the instructions are not that easy. Tell yeah, me yeah. about Camp Fimfo. Yeah, so Camp Info was created with intention to have accommodations for all different kinds of campers, upscale amenities, and kitschy design throughout the property. There are some campgrounds out there that cater to families with kids, some that cater just to adults, some that are uber luxurious, and some that are super rustic. And we know the truth is most people are looking for something in between. So we um, created a space in the outdoors where you can stay with us whether you're staying in a tent, cabin, or RV. And in that spirit, we have something for everyone to do in your party at Camp Info, from mini golf to a swim-up bar to a water park in our on-site tavern. Everyone in your party will be able to find something to do. Um, we even have multiple dining options, whether you want a casual bite or a craft cocktail. Okay, so when you get ready for this camping adventure, and I think June is National Camping Month. I'm not sure. I thought I read that somewhere. Oh, it is. Okay, great. Give us three tips to prepare for this adventure that's coming up. Yes, so I have three tips for you. So first, I would say do your research and have a loose schedule. Start by researching what the campground itself has to offer and what you want to do in the local area. At Camp Info, we have so much to do on site, for example, that if you don't plan accordingly, you won't have time to explore nearby attractions. And of course, fitting some time in there to relax is important too. So we really advise putting together that loose schedule. And second, prepare for the elements and weather. Um, They say the fun continues rain or shine when camping, and that is very true. So you might think to pack the usual things like umbrellas or layers, but we also advise bringing a rainy day kit with some crafts or games for the kids. Um, And I also always want to remind people to bring the sunscreen or bug spray because nothing can make a trip go downhill faster than forgetting those items. And my last one, short and sweet, book early. Camping's more popular than ever, and so if you know when and where you want to camp, it's really important that you get that reservation in. That's also how you're going to get the best deal. We have a a lot of deals on our site. Um, And if you are a little more of a last-minute person, though, just be flexible with your dates and the ways that you're willing to camp, and you should be fine. I want my audience to know that Tess McCracken, she is Tessa McCracken. She is the Chief Marketing Officer of Northgate Resort. Tess uh, Tess, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this one post from Instagram, and they want to know when you have older relatives who do you take camping. Are there any special accommodations or something they should prepare for? Yeah. So, like I said, we really have um, a variety of accommodations. So, you could have some people in your party who want to stay in a tent, a traditional experience. You could have some people that come in the RV. 
or some that stay in the cabin. And I think that for some older travelers, the cabin can be a lot easier just because you, know, you just show up, you don't have to set up anything. So I would recommend a, a convenient cabin option. Oh, great. I'll post it. Hopefully that answers your question. Tessa, for future travelers, where can they go and get more information or for the novice traveler, traveler who wants to know more? So you can find more about our two Texas locations in New Braunfels and Waco online at campfinfo.com. And you can also find us on social media. I thank you so much. Waco is one of my favorite places, and I love New Braunfels. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. And I want Thanks to tell my audience, you. happy camping. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.